Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 11 of our rune campaign in DCI The Last Alliance. As we begin the final conquest of this campaign, and that's of course the conquest of Greenwood the Great, Erin Garland, and we will exterminate the elves. So we are doing a three or even four pronged attack. Coming in from the south we have Redu, is moving straight to Amalank. That will be a relatively easy grab. The Dark Hill of Sorcery. Or at this point it's not yet the Dark Hill of Sorcery, but it will be soon enough. Both hand will be coming in to take Amindur, yes. And over here we have no one yet, but Mahiro will take some forces from Erebor and Captain Lugal as well to move on to Erinond. And it seems the goblins will also help us out. So it is a three pronged attack at the moment. No, it's going to be forefront because we have Babalu coming in as well, and he's going straight for Austin Gale. I think I moved everyone. I do have a little bit of cash to spend, so let's see what we shall throw our money towards. Um, money gets money, which I like. Let's keep getting that. It's a shame we can't get more caravan trading posts and that kind of stuff. Alright, that's all for this turn then. Oh, that was turn 69. I missed that. I could have made very lame puns and jokes about it. Sniggered like a little, little child. <laughs> but I've grown beyond that. Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, but I, th I don't think Erengala will prove to be too difficult to take down, and I do think we've actually turned off the music by accident. Oh no, it's on. Because when I record the intros for the Divide and Conquer Perhaps campaign, we could sort no. um, I turn off the music because I put my own music on it, and sometimes it remembers settings I do on Divide and Conquer for DCI or different uh, versions of Medieval 2 or different mods of Medieval 2. Sometimes it doesn't, you really can't predict it. Uh, but it does seem to be okay now. Alright, keep moving, plop down watchtowers. Ah, these elves are sneaky, eh? Perhaps I should move you to Rovanost. I thought that said Warlord Borthen to useless. <laughs> Which would be pre Oh! Oh, damn! Ah, but they crashed the game. Ah, that sucks. I'd love to use them, but they crashed the game, sadly. Still need to find a way to... Uh, have them in the game without it crashing, which I'm afraid is a little bit more difficult than I would like. Alright, anyway, let's do a merge. Bloop. See which units we can send along with Mr. Mahiru. Dangerously low on cavalry. I hope he has some cavalry. Nope. One unit of rune riders will not cut it. Uh, that's okay. We'll find a way to fix that. It's still a, a decent force. I could get some archer mercenaries. I'm just so low on cash at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Alright, Redu. Keep pushing. Both and Babalu. Okay, it seems to be going well. Um, I do have some extra forces. I should probably send these guys north. I'd love to see the Khan Marksman in action. Um, you come over as well. I think that's all my units, really. Not that it really matters. I think I can crush Erengalan with what I have. Uh, yeah, go sit in Kambuska. Boost the economy by 10. It's amazing. Amazing numbers. Okay, I don't really have too many reserves and I'm not doing anything. These guys, eh, they're pretty depleted. Let them rest. Alright, just blasting through the turns. But I feel pretty secure in saying that the campaign's pretty much won. I know I said it in the last episode as well, and I don't think this will be too many more episodes. We'll see what, come after, what comes after it. I know I mentioned wanting to do a, uh, an Elder Scrolls campaign, but I kind of want to play the mod in my own time a little bit first, so I'm more acquainted with it, because I never really played it all that much. And it's very difficult to do YouTube for it, and also make intros, etc. Uh, we don't really know the game all that well just yet, so... I'll be playing it in my spare time a little bit. I'm thinking of making some more time for uh, myself as well, so not sure how many more series I will be starting up at the same time. <laughs> I already do so many series. Alright, I mean, do it. Galleon. Look at that guy. He's way too handsome. Amon Lank Wardens. Uh, they look scary. And those battle axes. Yeah. But the rest of his army is pretty meh. So I think we'll be okay with uh, a full on assault. Captain Elmeron. Not Elderon, but Elmeron. If he wants to have a go, that's him. Can try going after Rovanost. See what happens. All right, Redu. Oh, I'm along just uh, suddenly beefed up. That's okay. We still have a stronger army than that. He hasn't got a general there. We can siege him out. Five turns is not that long. 
Just kind of relying on the goblins a little bit in the north, so hopefully they... I do have, uh, military actors with them, right? No, I don't! Oh crap, I need to get that sorted. Diplomat, diplomat. We need that military actors sorted. For both sides. There we go. Good. That's uh, to map information, although... Uh, we know most of your map anyway, so... Um... Yeah, everyone's moving. <laughs> I just need to, like, keep ramming and turn. Our economy is a little bit in... Well, it's not under red, but it's it's fairly neutral. I could try calling another crusade, but I don't think there has been enough time between the crusade or the invasion of Eastern Asgiliath to call in a new one. We'll see, though. I did help out, so hopefully Sauron will be more inclined to uh, accept my request. But we'll see, because he can be really uh, stubborn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, we can check right now, actually. The Dark Lord. No, it's too soon. Too bloody soon. Alright. Part of me thinks I should take down this guy on his own, but whatever. I'm not going to bother with tiny fights. When Austin Gale is looking so undefended. Oh, hello, Gosler. You want to come over as well? You want to join my army? Go ahead. Oh, that's a whip. That's a whip. Um, bop, 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 bop. Okay. Knights, stables, and iron hills. Does that give me anything new? Or sergeants? Oh, I'll get some of them. I mean, we're not fighting the dwarves anymore, but they can still be useful. Alright, let's see what we're facing up here. This might prove to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, mostly infantry. Not that many archers, which is good. It's mostly the archers that scare me. In terms of infantry, I should be able to outperform them. 712 AP. 630. Yeah, we definitely outperform those guys. Um, it also just spears, so they suffer some debuffs. Alright, Bobalu's moving in Austin Gale. Both hands already at Emindur. Redo will be in Amon Lang in two turns. Reinforcements are coming in. Um, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slots, and this is an army of eight, so I'll be splitting some of them towards both hand. Advanced strategies with Izzy. Blasting through these turns, but there's nothing really else to do. Although in a way it's kind of nice. I can just kind of chill, talk about life a little bit. Hope you've all been doing well. I know the Divide and Conquer videos aren't usually the best place for me to like have casual interactions and stuff. It's more serious. But these videos I still just kind of chill. And they're also less people watching, so there's better interaction in my opinion. So that's always fun. Um, I'll send over one unit, but what do we need? I'd say we're okay on cavalry here. We're okay on infantry, so I think I'll send over the uh, Marksman of Khan, and then you guys can move up north. Siege Erinont. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I know the situation in the world is still crazy. Everywhere, basically. No matter where you live or where you're from. Life's pretty crazy. 2020 has been a crazy year, because on the one hand... Oh, we have a Ballista, so we could just go immediately in. Might do that. On the one hand, 2020 has been a good year for me and the channel. But on the other hand, so much stuff has happened that it's... I'm hard-pressed to call it a good year. Wait, what was that? Onodrim. Is that... Like, end culture or something? What the hell is that? Never heard about that. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an awkward... Um, Awkward year. I think that's the best way to put it. Awkward. Let's see. They got mines, like, in the bloody forest. It's very strange. Where did that army go? They might have just retreated towards Edendolan. Okay, shall we just go take Austin Gale with our ballista? I think we shall. Assault the place, Feradir, and his one unit of Sylvan Hunters will not be able to stop us. I can assure you that. Alright, here we go. See you all on the battlefield. Alright, look at that. It's actually like a professional looking army. Let me just quickly go for the cinematic approach. Ah, uh, look at that. We actually have like a professional Easterling army. Looks awesome. Oh, there we have the Sikas as well. Very cool. And I really like the design of these guys. The Rune Experiment and I by far the best looking unit. The shield, the bright colors, it just really fits the theme well in my opinion. I must say. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Alright, let's turn on Battle HUD again. Some people like play entire campaigns with minimal. I really can't do that. I also rely on 
this button a lot, which you don't have in minimal HUD. A decision I don't quite understand, but it is what it is. All right, let's start by breaking down the gate. The Guardians of Amal... No, that's a different unit. That's not Guardians of Amal Lunk, right? Because those are supposed to be archers. I can't check right now. But that is a custom bodyguard, it seems. Or maybe that's a general bodyguard and the Amal Lunk Guardians are custom. Who knows? I sure don't. I feel like Iron Garland would be an interesting campaign if I had not done Lothorian already. Alright, you guys, come on. You need to hit every shot because we only do three... Per Actually, maybe we're better off taking down a wall. Does that do more damage? If it's like 1% per shot, I won't bother. I think it's actually better to do with the wall, just because we're not likely to miss any shots. Whilst with the gate, it's a little bit of a tougher target to hit. We should have enough ammo. Yeah, we're about a quarter away and we've only used like one-fifth or something, one-sixth of our uh, ammo. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Don't need to take down any towers because the AI is being rather passive. And this doesn't quite look like what I imagine a fortress of the uh, Mirkwood Elves to look like, but then again, what do I know, eh? I'm just a simple Wayne Rider from the Steps of Rune. <laughs> just a small town boy. Alright, come on, break it down. Uh, let's get our archers in position. As well as our general. Um, they have a very well armored unit, so I definitely want to get my AP. And I think I also want to get my Sikas against the cow. No, let's actually save the Sikas for now. Let's send Spears against the cavalry. Now, if we can, we can try sniping them with the ballista if we're so inclined. Mainly want to use my archers, though. If they're not going to go defend the walls, that would be a relatively easy kill for us. I think if I plot my ballista like here, they might just be able to fire across the wall. Alright. Let's put them in a Thangale. And then plop these guys on the wall. That's not going to work. But try anyway. Alright, they're fighting on me. Maybe Thangale isn't the best position after all. Uh, make sure they can't fight on a direct line. Do they need to fire like awkwardly in weird arcs and straight lines? In the air, that's not gonna work. Sindar bodyguard, yeah, that is the general bodyguard. So the Amaline Guardian is indeed the custom version. All the more you know me. Uh, where did my archers go exactly? Oh, you're bugging out. Come on, get on there. Hurry up. We got elves to kill. All right, just out of Thangale, spread out. Hide in a less awkward position. Are you hitting anything? I think you are actually. Oh yes, you are. Oh yeah, look at that. Come fly with me. Come on, boys. Nice. Death and destruction. All right, sending in the Sindar, so we'll have the Hydran Axemen ready to go. If they want to make a counterplay, go ahead. Screw them. We can actually sandwich them. Oh, no, wait, he's retreating. Come on. You don't want the good old Izzy sandwich. Ah, the ballista. I told you to fire on these guys. Not on the Sindar bodyguard. Alright, so they're engaged with the spears, which... Actually, victory... Oh, no, never mind. I thought we could already win. And then if we can already pepper them with the archers, they are in a really bad spot. These guys have already dropped quite a bit. They're completely surrounded by an AP unit and a spear unit to keep them busy. They have switched main priority target, which is a good play on them. You can tell because most of the units are now facing the Hydran Axemen instead of the spears. So their main front line, the game considers this their front line and this their back. So the spears are only poking in the rear, which they're not so good in the flank as Hydran Axemen would be. That's where the Seekers come in to take down those guys. They have to hold the town square, so they can't really do skirmishing tactics all too much. Or actually, leave the Sikas and pull in our rune bodyguard. Is it just me or do ballistas have more ammo in this game? Stop fighting, because so you're picking the wrong target. Oh, you're skirmishing, so you can't get through. Hello there, Sylvan Hunters. You want to know how to fire a bow? I'll teach you. That's how you do it. Sons of bitches. 
and those Sindar bodyguards are dropping very, very quickly. So we can take the settlement with minimal casualties and then immediately push onwards. I will exterminate populaces and destroy buildings. I don't care about it, man. I just want to keep pushing fast. I don't think there's any reason for me to take it slow and steady. Doesn't always win the race. Sometimes you just need to rush, rush, rush. Alright. The general is being a bit stubborn. Oh, there he goes. Sweet. Our first big victory against Edding Garland. Killed Feradir. Who killed the most? Probably the Harden X-Men. Yeah. Suffered also the most casualties. 17 due to friendly fire. Oh, crap. I need to have a, a bit of a talk with my archers in. Alright. Good stuff. There we go. Austin Gale is now ours. Boom. Seven, eight. I'm sure I've mentioned it in other videos, but Gale, or Hale, in Dutch actually means horny, which it's always strange to see that settlement. Written exactly like that as well. Um, let's repair that. Let's get the rune outpost to get that law bonus. We're very close to Amalank. Okay, and this is goblin territory. Nice. They're being completely choked out. Alright, Erenon's on the siege with reinforcements on the way. Not that it's necessary. I mean, Duid will besiege for like one turn and then immediately push onwards. Should it be this army to take Erendolan? I don't know. I kind of want to do an invasion of Erendolan just for shits and giggles. I guess I'll like wait one turn because they're out of movement points probably anyway. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see if we can call an invasion. Alright, let's end the turn there. Like I thought, the elves of Edin or Edingarden, yeah, aren't really gonna put up too much of a resistance. We already cut their land in like two, and then Greenwood is ours. <laughs> That's not quite what happened in the law, but I'll take it. The forces of Rune chopping down all the trees. Oh yeah, I'm still waiting for those war chariots to arrive as well. I still want to showcase them. 22 more turns though. I don't think the campaign will be 22 more turns, but we'll see. Alright, I mean do it. Four turns is not that long. So I wouldn't mind waiting a little bit. Just because we want to rush them doesn't mean we uh, need to be careless with our forces. As long as no reinforcements arrive, we can just choke them out. Especially the bigger settlements that come along. And most of these settlements, or none of these settlements, have, as far as I know, custom battle maps. So, maybe they did at some point, but they've been upgraded anyway to not have them anymore. So I think we can actually push north with this army, leave behind that one battered up unit of spears. Bloop. Keep the bees, good. Spiders, I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty secure. Let's just make sure there's like that we're aware of what's happening in the world, basically. All the way up to turn 75. We're just blazing through these turns, man. It's going so fast. But then again, we're only 75 turns in, and campaigns pretty much one, which is relatively quickly. I'd say most of my divide and conquer campaigns are like I don't know, around 150 turns, something like that. That's usually when I quit. There are some people who play like 300 turns. I'm like, how do you do it, man? How do you not get tired of a specific faction by then. At that point I've already spent hours and hours and hours with that faction. I know the in and outs of it. An expert. I wouldn't go so far to say that. Alright, let us go towards Erindolin. You really need to make a play in Garland because you're just being completely smothered. Uh, three more turns, five turns, and I think six turns over here, right? Four turns, oh okay. It's not that much for the literal Dark Hill of Sorcery. Okay, you guys keep on coming over. <laughs> we'll have a couple of battles too, don't worry. Just mostly uh, maneuvering, which like 90% of warfare is maneuvering and supply lines and making sure your troops are where you need them. It doesn't matter how many forces you have, if you can't get them where they need it, you can't properly equip them. And I think that Total War does that pretty well in the older games, not so much in the newer games. Because in the newer games your forces like constantly replenish, and a massive defeat will not stall you for long. Oh, okay, we can upgrade Erebor. 
I didn't think we could do that. Huh, Alright. It doesn't really matter. You don't really get that much stall because most zombies will fully replenish in like three or four turns, even all the way like miles and miles and miles away from your capital or your own settlements. Which I really don't know. Okay, did you just sacrifice yourself for no good reason? You moved your army out of your defensive position for me to just pick up hard on the battlefield so I can then move to Edendolan with my ballista and eradicate you? Is that is that the plan? My god, you are absolutely stupid. Alright, well at this pace, this might already be the final episode. It wasn't really my intention, but... With the way Edingalan is playing and how easy they're falling, I, I expected more of a resistance, to be honest. Didn't expect it to go this easily. Oh, we have tons and tons and tons of cavalry. Uh, infantry, just set up in a big line, a big formation, and then the archers can join the ballista. Um, okay, horses like that, you guys like that. I was actually watching a Divide and Conquer streamer yesterday, Mesmerizer. He's a pretty small channel, do check him out, it's pretty entertaining in my opinion. Um, and he, I don't know how he did it exactly, he knows Medieval 2 a lot better than I did, but his like troop placement and troop movement and grouping and all that was really smooth, but like incredibly smooth. But I think he was also playing on a, mo a version he modded himself, because unit sizes were a lot bigger, he also had some custom units and stuff, pretty interesting stuff I must say. I wish I was good at that kind of stuff so I could customize my campaigns a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I'll stick to my strengths which at the moment is video making and graphics design and stuff. Not that I'm an expert at it by far, but uh, a hobbyist I would say. But in terms of like changing game files and all that kind of stuff, modding Medieval 2, I, um, I know nothing about that. I guess you could say I'm from Barcelona. Um, move them over and group. You lads, don't get shot by whatever archers they are. Okay, those are jabby. No, they're archers. They look like jabbies for a moment, though. Huh? Alright, move back. Because we've angered them. Are those hunters? Ah, they have so many of those damn hunters. Alright, move back. If he wants to chase me on a merry-go-round, go ahead. Merry-go-round. Uh, okay, we should be in range right about now with our ballista. Our rune horse archers are taking a beating. That's okay. Just run, run, run. I'm telling you to run. You need to listen, buddy. Otherwise, this is not going to be easy. Alright, he's dropping. Fire if you can. But you should be able to now. Oh, I must be so close. It really must be so close. I can feel it. Oh, these guys. The spears. Okay. If those were archers, I would have sent in my cow to just take him out. Alright, these hunters are dropping rapidly. What do you got over here, anyway? Swordsmen, trackers, infantry. Also, the swordsmen look pretty nice, I must say. Not quite what I imagined them to look like, but it's still a cool model. Alright, 32. Ballista, can you still not fire? Is it because of the hill or something? Guess I'll place you a little bit more over there. Um, cavalry, make your return. Rune bodyguard just doing all the work. Alright, he's pushing for it. That's annoying because I'm still moving my troops. Alright, place the ballista there then. If he wants to have a go, we'll give it to him. Let's ungroup them, move them in a wide formation. I just need to be a little bit careful because, you know, I want to keep as many of these guys alive as possible. Ballista, you really should start firing now. Take him out. Right, he's got swordsman on his flank. That's his general right there. Maybe I should just go for a quick kill on him. Might route the rest because these elves don't really have 
the morale of uh, the elves in the deck. Yeah, he's already fleeing for that. Little bitch. Alright, go forth and fear no darkness. Nice. Are we though? Are we though? Alright, split up an army a little bit. Cavalry, come on in. You're gonna see some nutty cavalry action, I can tell you that much. Oh yes, they're swarming upon the battlefield. Riders of Rune and Boltrod and Khant. Go forth. Oh, mass routes already. Couldn't you wait for the cavalry to arrive? Come on, Mois. At least put up somewhat of a challenge. Here I was going to go with a full-on flanking, routing, cavalry charge maneuver, and the enemy's like, nah, I'm not even going to wait for that. I guess they heard our trampling footsteps, or hoof steps, really. And they were like, nope, not dealing with that. Which I can't blame him. <laughs> That's 60% of the elven army just running away. Somehow that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Alright, you guys stop firing. Stop it. You're hitting friendlies. And unlike orcs, we need to take care of our own men a little bit more than that. Alright, make sure we kill enough because I don't want them to pull back towards... At Indolan, which I think we've already killed enough, but just to make sure. Yeah, they're screwed. My god, the elves are just... Ravanian was a much bigger threat than the elves. I can tell you that much. Alright, well that's the battle, eh? 113 for 220, but then 661 prisoners. Jesus Christ. General doing work as always. Alright, good stuff. And let's obviously execute those guys. Get out of here. Go home. Well, not really. And there's Erin Dolan, the capital. King Orofer. Erin Garden Arches. So that's their elite arches, which do less damage than my Khan Marksman. I'm pretty sure my Khan Marksman have five missile attack. Uh, can I check that real quick? Should be able to. Yeah. So they deal more missile damage. Okay, well I guess accuracy and stuff also makes a difference because we noticed the same thing with um, the difference between Elven Arches of Lothorian and the Goblin Arches. But it still it still feels weird to me. <laughs> All right, King Orofer, what kind of unit do you have? Orofer's bodyguard, 14 attack, 23 defense, bonus against cavalry and AP. You probably have a shit ton of HP as well. Dislikes Linden, dislikes dwarves. Alright then. A perfect politician. Perfect politician and cruel leader is just 2020 in a nutshell, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's go take care of Erin Dolan with our ballista. We'll knock down the gates and then slaughter all the elves hiding in the capital of Erin Garden. Let's first save, actually, just in case. Alright, here we go. Swiftly or slowly, I care not. Here we are. Oh, that is a custom settlement. And it looks familiar. Isn't this the battle map of... I want to say Mythland in Divide and Conquer. I think it is. Yeah, it's definitely Mythland. Interesting. Anyway, King Orofer the Watcher can now watch as I completely annihilate his forces. Unless he has Ballista Towers, in which case I will poop my pants just a little bit. But he's not even trying to hold the gates. And people keep telling me that the Germanicus AI is better than the Dividing Con or the standard AI. But I don't know. I feel like they use cavalry better, but everything else much, much, much worse. They might be trying to push towards the walls now. No, not even that. Like, I understand if you only have like one or two units that you would just immediately retreat to the town square and try to hold them there. But you have a sizable force, not a big force, but enough to hold all these walls. And also, but the AI can't of course know that, your walls are in a really good position, especially because I only have a ballista. So I'm not going to take down any walls, I'm not going to use ladders or siege towers. So yeah, it's a very stupid decision. The town looks great though, I must say. I love these buildings. 
It's a town I could live in, you know. Just chilling, having a good time. Very nice. Kind of reminds me of Norway for some reason. That might just be me. Alright, 12%. Let's take down that gate. Batter it down, Mr. Ballista. And we can send in the lads and slaughter the elves. The really lost seat of power for the good factions in the east. If they fall, well, then all hope is really lost. Numenor cannot stand the load, and the elves of Lothorian are really not doing all that much either. They're not as good as they were under my command, that's for damn sure. 54, 56, come on, give me the 59. Ah, oh, I went to 58 and then 60. Damn it. Game censoring. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely Mythland. I mean, doesn't look too bad to be a, a woodland elf settlement. Maybe Mythland also has the same battle map. They could do that because what are the chances of you fighting against the elves of Erengarden and Mythland in the same campaign? It's pretty small. Unless you're doing like a Mordor campaign perhaps. Or an evil Numenor campaign. That could be fun actually. Alright, let's send in the infantry. Just get in there. It is time indeed. He's just sending in his lads. Alright, then I'll take it. Sending in one by one to die. If I'm not mistaken, I only had one unit of archers. Okay, never mind. Sylvan archers and Garden archers. Okay, never mind. He has three units of archers. A small difference. Alright, our eastern archers are on top of the wall. We can now use the walls against them. These guys not having a good time. They're like, why are we doing this exactly? I don't know, buddy. Maybe if you had some good leadership. It's not too late to join me, you know. You could just be another tribe of Rune, why not? I'll give you some autonomy and stuff. You just have to uh, pledge allegiance to my cause. That's all I ask. Let's take a look at Orofar, actually. Now that we're here, not doing anything at the moment. There he is. Blonde bimbo, look at that. The father of Thranduil, if I'm not mistaken. And the grandfather of Legolas. Not sure if Orofer and Legolas knew each other, or if Legolas was born after Orofer died. I'm not quite sure, but someone in the comments will know. And I'll be a little bit wiser, as I usually am. In most episodes I, I say something or I mention something, and then people give me more information about it. Like, the last episode that was about composite bows, or composite bows, however you pronounce it exactly. Um, and I got a lot of information on that and why what I said about them was wrong. And that just makes me a little bit smarter, and I love that. I love learning stuff like that. I love, like, scouring Wikipedia and stuff like that, just to learn whatever, anything, really. A day where you don't learn anything new is a bit of a wasted day, in my opinion. So I do always appreciate the uh, information, even if it's about, like, lore and stuff. Fictional universe stuff, I still appreciate it. Makes me a better YouTube content creator as well, in a way. The more I know about this universe, the more I can talk about it. Yeah, those guys are running, hunt them down. My infantry is slowly but surely infesting the city. They're pushing forth their archers. We're doing lots and lots of damage. We've already lost 20% and they're defending. Like, seriously, this AI is really not that good. That really shouldn't be the case that we have taken the walls with no casualties and they've lost 20% of it. Something is definitely going wrong with those kind of numbers. Alright boys, uh, moving the cavalry. I love this music. It's a bit of a spin-off the uh, the classic theme. These guys look sick though. Although I think they're just a recolor of the Sindar bodyguard we have at Lothlorien. That was a difficult word to pronounce, Lothlorien. Because those were like blue, these guys are just green. I think they're the same unit otherwise. Alright boys, go in, surround them. Charge the archers. Hello there, Mr. Orofer. The Watcher. What a befitting title, because you are watching and doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Good job on the charge. Keeping them busy. Killing a couple. Surround them. Push onwards. Orofer really can't do anything. He's like, oh my god. He's using my strategies against me. Whatever can I do? 
The Sikas are in melee. Nice. Seems like a highly impractical weapon to use, but then again, the Scythians use it as well, so... A Falx, I think it's called. Someone might correct me on that as well, and I'll be a little bit wiser. But I'm pretty sure it's called a Falx. Um, right, they're surrounded. We can't really count on any routes as long as Autofed is alive. Although I, I see that, and then again, these guys routed too. Seems morale is really a lot more different in this game than in the Wide and Conquer. I need to stop comparing the two all the damn time. They're essentially different games, just using the same platform. Alright, cavalry, move on over. Autofoot's bodyguard will absolutely slaughter my Hyrun Guardsmen without support. So let's give them the support they need in terms of cavalry. We should be alright. My infantry will definitely slaughter these guys, it just takes time. Um, yeah, charge them. Looks pretty cool though, I must say. That's actually... been a lot for a little bit. In Divine and Conquer, here I go, compare again. If you press scroll lock, you go automatically into like cinematic mode, which is a very nice feature. It's sadly not in DCI. Though I imagine it could be modded in relatively easily if I transfer the, the command line. That would work. You can get some awesome shots like that. Oh, they're firing point blank, those assholes. I'm gonna report you for bug abuse, man. Yeah, I can't really shut that down. Alright, cavalry. It's a bit harder to keep track of my units at this rate, but that's alright. Alright. Lore out the king of the Woodland Realm. Kill him as well. Alright. Well, I imagine Thranduil already exists at this point. I hope he does, because otherwise, what if he dies right now? Yeah, I imagine he uh, exists. So did. Thrandu will fight in the Battle of the Last Alliance then. Because I know the Woodland Realm, like, they send them a lot of forces. They were leading the Vanguard, basically, and they lost the most by far. And it's also where Orofer died. So perhaps Thrandu will also fought in that battle. Not quite sure about it. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Battle HUD, sorry. <laughs> it just feels too strange for me not to have Battle HUD. Heads up display. Um, 11... This music's almost like peaceful. Kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia, which there is a remake of The Sands of Time coming out. If you haven't played Prince of Persia, the first trilogy, you're really doing yourself a disservice. It's such a good game. Well, all three of them are. All right, fire it again. Run in there. Come on. Run, run, run! They have lost half their men. Nice. Okay. Maybe try charging them. Who knows? I don't imagine we'll get a good charge in. Like, these guys are holding out a pretty long time. We're not taking that many casualties, though, but, like... I don't know. That was a decent charge, actually. For a charge on a town square, I must say, that wasn't too bad. Need to pull back, though, because if you stay in melee with those guys, they will absolutely destroy you. It looked like a good charge, but then again, it didn't really kill anyone nor bloody anyone up, really. Oh, what if it's looking a bit bloody? Alright, yeah, engage with the Hyrun Guardsmen. Good, 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 good stuff. These guys are getting trapped in a pocket. They're trying to hold. It shall not work out for them. Alright, now they're engaged with the Hyrun Guardsmen. We can do more effective charges, I'd say. Toot toot! Come on! Boom, nice. The Golden Cavalry of Rune smacking into Orofer and his lads. Alright, pull out. Another charge! The time of men has come! The time of the elves is over. Alright, pull out. Don't worry, my pull out game is pretty strong, I must say. 
I need to be a little bit careful with my uh, cavalry. Spearmen, they're not doing anything, are they? I need to move them here. Run, run, run. Uh, 58, do another charge. Keep charging him, but General... Rather not have you charge the uh, Waterford's bodyguard. You can still charge these guys, though. Come on, boys. It's time to shut this shit down. How do you do, Sylvan Archers? What are you even firing at at this point? There's nothing... Oh, horse archers. <laughs> Interesting. Good charge. 55. Come on, boys. Okay. Surround them. Music's picking up. Odafer's holding on, though. He's a tough son of a bitch. Well, I didn't really expect anything else, though. But... Still. They're surrounded. They're routing. Heading garden arches will soon fall as well. They're trying to fend them off with their beautiful swords. Damn. Those are really neat looking. Hello there, Orofer. Maybe just surrender, eh? Doesn't that seem like a good idea? Oh no! These guys are routing. That's not great. Well, as soon as these guys are dead, I can move the rest onto the town square. Ah, Orofer, you're proving to be quite difficult to kill. I do have something against that. Bit of an unorthodox method. It'll work. How do you do? That's not the unorthodox method I'm talking about, by the way. I was indeed referring to the ballista, which I'm rolling in the city right now. Alright, kill them. Kill these lads for sure. He is dropping with all the calf charges, but so am I. Then again, once this settlement falls, this army has completed its task. I don't think they need to capture any more settlements, so it doesn't really matter if you lose everyone or no one. It does not make a difference in the grand scheme of things. Most of my units are dead tired though. That's also uh, having an impact. No, actually don't. Wait for the ballista to arrive. A couple of hits on Odafer should uh, make him change his mind about this entire endeavor. I still have some ammo with my archers. Might as well get them engaged as well. It says these guys are still firing missiles as well, but that's definitely not the case. They're still taking shots though, because these guys keep firing even though they're stuck in melee. Oh well, yeah, I got AI. Eh? Alright, that should be a good angle. Please don't hit my own units. Alright, rest up for a little bit, whilst the ballista does its job. Oh, beautiful. That's gonna aggro him. Nice. Careful, don't hit my own units, please. 45. Oh, crap. Ugh. Almost killed my own general. That's just uh, the easy channel for you. Come on, keep firing. Oh, what the hell was that? They're standing still now. They're easy target. Nice. Every kill was like 20 rune soldiers saved. I feel like every of these guys could kill at least 20 of my lads. At least. Nice. That's another 200 people saved. Not sure the ballista. Sometimes the ballista aims like where they're gonna go. Instead of where they are. Like, I think the AI just clicks here, so they assume they're gonna go there, so they always fire here. Even though they're not actually there. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, uh, Orofer. Orofer, my friend. Should have invested in your own ballista. Oh, crap, my seekers are not doing anything. Uh, where are my arches? Kill those damn Sylvan Arches. Okay, I just toasted my own Seekers. My bad. Kill him! Run him down! The Seekers against Odofer's bodyguard. 
You need to keep an eye on the timer, man. He's getting stabbed by what I assume to be a Falx. Decent charge, I guess. Not quite. Wisest one, we have lost control of the city. Right, push on the city. We need to at least take that. I don't want to run down the timer. But I will if I have to. He's dropping like flies, baby. Five lads remaining. Where's Prophet himself? Where's that blonde bimbo? Where is he? Oh, there he is. 1v1 in one of my spearmen. Fencers! Stab him! Oh! Damn! Well, he's gonna fight and die valiantly, I assume. Well, he has a minute and 40 seconds to die, so if he could be so so kind to do so, that would be much appreciated, as we're just gang-banging up on him. Come on. Come on. Die, please. Do me a favor. He's trying to run. Look at that. <laughs> That's comedy right there. Brrr, gotta go fast. And he ran out of timer, but I want to kill him. I'll give him that honor. <laughs> Poor guy. How tanky is that motherfucker? Jesus Christ. I want my units routed. That's okay. We got this. We've already won. I just want to kill the guy. I am speed. Brrr. Oh, finally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nice, King Orafur is dead. And with that, Erin Garden is pretty much taken care of. Just a few settlements remain. I need to dot the I's and cross the T's. And I'll see you all on the campaign map again. There we go. Boom. You're dead. Erin Garden is ours. Uh, that's occupied, actually. Because I'm not going to move this army out. Oh, we can get an assassin. Don't think I've used an assassin in this entire campaign. We can get a racing track. Look at that. But let's start with some roads. Can't believe you never bothered to build roads, you inbred piece of elf. Um. Okay, so we're besieging Erinont, we're besieging Emindur, we're besieging Amonlank, which I think are the last three settlements. Let's do a quick toggle fog of war. Um, no, he has one more settlement. Imathrad. Come on, goblins, go take care of that. Alright, I do kind of think the next episode will be the last one. I can't imagine it will take us much longer to take that. That's three turns, two turns, four turns. We'll take, of course, a little bit to also take them and get the battles done, so it might be two more episodes, but I think it'll just be the one. Alright, so this was episode 11. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It's always fun to slaughter some woodland elves, and I hope to catch you all soon for episode 12. Bye-bye, lads.